Okay, now we'll try that. Is that working? Hey, I believe that's working. Lloyd, you got a really bad echo. Like an endless loop echo. Wow, I don't know what's going on there, brother. Let me go look at this. Let me listen to this for a minute. Yeah, every time I turn your audio on, Lloyd, it goes nuts. Okay, maybe we got it now. Are you there, Lloyd? Well, now I can't hear you. This is crazy. So much for throwing a live stream together in under five minutes, y'all. Oh, now I hear you. Well, you still got the uh, loop, though. You still got the audio loop. Okay, let's try it again, Lloyd. Are you there? <laughs> it never sounded better. That's funny, Greg. Lloyd, hello, I hear nothing, okay, you, I don't know what you're doing, but you got that crazy audio like endless loop going. Thomas, Greg, Thunderbird, Rick, no, same thing, same thing there, Lloyd, same thing. Wow, that's crazy. I keep having to cut your audio out, Lloyd, because of the echo, so... It's it's like running wild in a loop right now. I don't know what you got going on. But Oh, that's good copy. Okay, I'm going to turn your audio on again. All right, try to say something now, brother. Well, now he's locked up. Let's start this over again. Chris Hope, Thomas O'Sullivan, Rick Halliber, Greg over at Oz by Drone. Welcome, my friend, above and beyond. Uh, is it Jim or James or something like that? Mime the whole show. Greg, you know what? When you're not hosting your show, you're just a troublemaker, aren't you? I see how you are now. I'm starting to catch on. Let me scroll up in chat here. Tim over at Midwest Drones, you're on vacation in Orange Beach, Alabama. Well, you lucky rat bastard, you. I hope you enjoy your vacation. T-Bird. And I 
that's all that's in there right now. Lloyd must be restarting. He must be going to try it again. Looks better than normal frozen up. Yeah, Greg. Yeah, you're quite the wise guy on everybody else's show. I'm starting to catch on to you. Joe's Drone Life, welcome. Well, y'all, if, uh, yeah, if you can't tell, uh, my mouse won't work because I had to plug in my hard drive so I could get everything else to work. So I got to use this little single, silly finger pad. Uh, who's following who today, my friends? Above and beyond. I think we're all following everybody. So I got Lloyd's audio turned on. So if he, if he gets back on the stream, hopefully he'll be all right. I don't know what's going on with that. But... Mm -hmm. Hey hear Lloyd. Hey. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. You can okay. turn your audio up a little bit. How about now? Is that better? There you go. Boy, All what right. was what was Jeez. going on? What was with the uh the endless rift? I mean, rip in the rift of the endless whatever, you know what I mean. I have no frigging clue except that Windows did an update today. And in the process, oh. uh, I don't know what happened. So okay. I restarted everything. And so you're going to blame it on Windows? I am. You're just going to give fuel to Greg now. You know that, right? Yeah, well, Greg can bite me after what he said. Wind blows and he look, you look better frozen, yeah? Yeah. Damn, he sounds grumpy again, Greg says. All right. <laughs> In one of them days. Howdy, Lloyd. How was your weeks. ride up to Tulsa for Miss Judy, my friend? How was that? It, it was good. It was good. We got things accomplished, got stuff done that needed to be done. And uh, uh, let me shut that. That's good to hear. Let's, I'm glad of that. Yeah. Let me, uh, both of you. Uh, I mean, oops, that's not it. You all want to see something kind of funny? Look here. I got, I got not one, but I got both. Not one, but both ears lowered. Check this out. I got no hair left. I got no hair left. Look at there. It's all cut off. Oh, wow. Can you all see that? Look at there. It's all cut off. Hey, Mel? Yeah? I got a haircut, too. You got a haircut, too. Well, don't you just look <laughs> sexy there, you big boy. <laughs> Man. Yes, yeah, except you just took sinning. a clipper and went zip, zip, zip. I had to actually go and, exactly. and have a girl yeah. take care of it for me, you know. Well, I'd rather have a girl yeah. take care of it, you know, anyway. Well, yeah. And Steve Miller Steve, says his Steve daughter Miller lives in Tulsa. Daughter lives in Tulsa. Oh, wow. Yeah. Lloyd, yeah, you want to know why this coffee tastes especially good tonight? Why is it especially good tonight? Because you're having but, it in your 400 AGL mug? Nope, that's not the reason. Although I am doing it in the 400 AGL mug. Look at there, 10-4. No, the reason it tastes especially good tonight is I just got back from the steakhouse, the Cattleman Steakhouse across the street. Uh huh. And I got to tell you, a 16-ounce ribeye steak with a baked tater and sautéed mushrooms and all that is really good with four glasses of white Zinfandel wine. <laughs> you go to that fifth glass of wine, and yeah. by God, you're in trouble, son. Let me tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> I saw what you texted me, yeah. I was, uh, I, was, I was actually uploading Friday's video, or fix it, finishing it off, and uh, when you texted me, I thought, well, I'll come in here. Judy, Judy uh, is, she's... She's out cold. She she was up all night last night. Well, plus and, you uh, drug her all the way to Tulsa today. Yeah, yeah, we did. And it was, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> she tried, she, she, the thing was is she finally fell asleep 
about an hour before I had to get her up. <laughs> oh boy. So isn't that yeah. special? Oh yeah, that was fun. And then she fell today. That didn't help either. Oh no, she's okay though, right? Yeah. Yeah, she's all right. Bruised a little bit, but the bad thing was is she fell in the bathroom against the bathroom door, which meant I had to kind of push her in the bathroom door open. Oh hell, because she blocked it shut. She blocked it shut, yeah. Oh so, man. Uh, she's okay though. So, well, that's but, good. Uh, I'm glad. I'm glad she's all right. Yeah. That's good. That's but, good. Uh, Well, we didn't go out Got flying today. Internet. It oh, rained on us all day, so we stayed home. Yep. I know you said it rained, but how come it looks like the sun is shining through your window now? Well, it's not. Here. Oh. Let's see if I got enough cord on this here camera. I can stretch it out over here. And, whoops. I'm going to mess everything up. You watch. Okay. See, there's, yeah. see yeah. the raindrops yeah. on the glass? and. The raindrops, see, it. see it's, yeah, it did rain. Yeah, and it's still raining. Let me see. Is the rain showing up? Yeah, it's, oh, it's showing, showing up. up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's up showing good. up. See? Yeah. yeah, so, so, um, normally, you know, we get paid to play with our drones. Right. Well, today we got paid to not play with them. Well, that is always nice, isn't it? There's nothing wrong with that, is there? No, uh, not a thing wrong with it. And I don't know if I'm supposed to say this or not, but you know what? I'm going to go ahead and throw it on out there. We had an incident okay. yesterday. I don't know which pilot. Do tell. And okay. I don't know which area. But I do know that there's a private citizen in a whole deep shit a bucket of trouble tonight. Uh-huh. And would you like to know how I know there's a private citizen in a whole deep bucket uh, bunch how, of trouble how do you know yeah don't say that twice you barely got it out the first time i don't think i get it out again so trouble <laughs> um the reason there's a private citizen in a whole bunch bucket of trouble is because immediately after he shot one of our drones out of the sky he called the police and told them he done it <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of like leaving your wallet at the crime scene you know what i mean yeah 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 like or, or smiling up, smiling up at the, uh, waving at the uh, uh, camera inside the store as you're breaking in at night, you know, like yeah, right, hey, it's exactly, me, no mask on, you know. Yep. Yeah. So the crew reported they heard five shots, and on the fifth shot, the drone fell out of the sky. Did they get the drone back? You know, if they got it back. No, no, they hauled ass. They got the hell out of there. They done the right thing. Well, I would have too. Yeah. Um, yeah. I imagine that, shotgun uh, knucklehead. Yeah. yeah. Well, if it was a shotgun, it wouldn't have took five shots, but, um, I'm thinking it was a handgun. Cause they said it sounded like pop, you know, like pop, 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 pop. Anyway. Right. I don't exactly know. Oz, Oz, Greg wants you to do, do him a favor. What is that? Ask the owner of the Greg? drone what to Greg? make a report to the FA. Oh yeah. Greg. Um, yeah. Precision Hawk is absolutely, at this point, pursuing it. I mean, we lost twelve thousand dollars worth of equipment. So, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe this will so set the example. It's it's, it's going to uh, be interesting. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what happens, but. Uh, Apparently, yeah, so we lost an aircraft, and it sat out there yesterday all night, and supposedly the authorities were going to go collect it today. So I, I, I don't know. Okay. They probably won't all fill right. us in on any more details, but yeah, all they really did was fill us in on what to do in case we run into that situation. So Right. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but... Uh... Uh, now, I don't know how your side of the stream is running. I take it you got good internet, but, uh, man, your picture is coming through clear to me and what I'm seeing going back. Oh, yeah, I'm clear, running. So. Um, okay. I keep trying to grab my mouse, and I got it unplugged. Let me go look. Oh, yeah, it's rocking. I'm run Well, I'm running 720 tonight, so 
it, it ought to okay. be okay. I put a fresh chip good. in the. It's looking good. I put a fresh chip in the air card day before yesterday, and I haven't used it that much, so I should have enough to run right. a little bit for tonight. And this really was spur of the moment. When I texted you and said, "Hey, I'm half drunk. I'm going live in five minutes." That was by God the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know because I come in here. I was just taking a chance that you wanted me on because I went ahead and fired it up. I didn't know if you were going with Google Hangouts or if you were going to use VMix, but. It's looking good, but, uh, uh, well, that was the uh, reason I also, sent you a text is so that you'd come on, well, you know, yeah, cause yeah. if but I didn't get enough I'm copy getting, in me quick enough, it'd be a bad thing and I'd need you to cover for me. Right. Exactly. Well, one of the good things is, is, uh, my internet problems are solved. Well, that's a good thing. How'd they solve uh, your internet problem? Well, two, two things, of course. I'd replace the modem. We talked about that the other night. Okay. Yeah. And so let me guess. You had to replace night, your router. Crap. I replaced the router and I was able to get, uh, it's, it, it does, uh, two point gigabytes download speeds. So, uh, but okay. then I came in here and I've got, I've got my Wi-Fi extender and I've got it plugged in direct, but I mean, I'm getting, I'm getting 400 and, 30 download constant 430 uh, megs download constant with a 40 to 50 going upstream all the time so uh, plus the other thing was is they replaced about a hundred foot of cable I was gonna say it's a hundred foot <laughs> at least from your house to that to that um, uh, that pole, pole the out alley. there yeah yeah, yeah. Just, well they have to go back back off my yard which is about uh 40 foot from the back of my where it ties into my house to where it ties into the feeder pole and then right. from there it's another 60 foot probably uh to that trunk line so so yeah, they had to go all the in, way to the trunk line about 100 all the way to the all the way out to the main trunk line yeah yeah oh okay hey art so, uh, because and it was right where it ties into the nodule up on top where they it was chewed right there okay show that again now do that again right right there where it's part of the <laughs> nodule up on top yeah, yeah. <laughs> right there where it was tied in and that nodule on top Mel. <laughs> yeah yeah except you're pointing the wrong way you always oh, do was, okay. was that it yeah yeah see i'm a point right but there anyways. So that nodule on yeah, top, yeah. see? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well. See, I, so, do, it, I do it again. <clears throat> so let's talk about the so Osmo. I understand you went shopping today. I did. By golly, I did. I went shopping today, and you know what I tried to buy? Well, you I tried. You, no, you know what I found? You know the that you big, find? tall uh, Yeti mic that I've got? Yeah, yeah, that great. I mean, that great big tall one, about that tall. Right, right, right. The I, big one. Yeah. I found a mini one. It's about oh, the size of my. Really? It's about the size of my coffee cup, and it's a stand-up Yeti. Sure enough, ninety bucks, and oh, I damn, cool. I almost bought it, and I might go back tomorrow and get it. I haven't decided yet. Okay, all right. If if. If it would have been right after dinner and all five glasses of white Zinfandel wine would have been in effect, I'd have bought the damn thing. You'd have bought it? Yeah. 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 yeah sure enough. Um, I mean, not only. Yeah. Let's get the likes up there, guys. It's you know, it's a mini. What we have in here? It's a mini Yeti, just like my big one, okay. just like the big tall one. Right. But I think it's like intended for laptops because it's smaller and more compact. Right. Right. Yeah, I almost, I, I I almost bought it. About, I almost, I almost, almost bought, bought it. The same one when I bought that uh, when I bought that blue mic. Uh, the snowball. Oh, the, yeah, the it's but, supposed uh, to be a snowball, but it's blue. That ain't no damn snowball. Well, actually, it's called blue, and it's called a snowball. Oh, it's the called a blue yeti, snowball, right? But it's black. It, yeah, yeah, it's, it's blue oh, it's yeti blue snowball, and it's black. Yeah, that don't make no, a whole lot yeti of sense is a to different, me. Either. No. It's well, the like Blue Yeti is. You got the silver, this you got the Silverado, and you got the uh, the the what the Z10. Okay, two different types of vehicles. 
I mean, they're both the same vehicle. They're both made by Chevrolet, but they're different models, okay? Okay. The Blue Snowball is a different model. They're both made by Yeti and the Blue are both made by Blue. Or Yeti and the Snowball are both made by Blue Microphone Company. Yeah, because it's Blue Yeti Snowball or Blue Randall. Snowball. Yeah. yeah. But it ain't yeah, Blue, it's Black. Go. We got it. No, exactly. And it's yeah. not a Snowball either because it's Black. Uh, well, it's not it a Snowball because it's a microphone. <laughs> You still got exactly. it, right? You yeah, still got it? I do. It's sitting here somewhere. And it's in your house? Yeah. yeah. It's in yeah. your house. And you got it. Still. Yeah. Right. Well, it can't be a damn yeah. snowball then or it doesn't been melted. I know. I know. Unless it came from California. Was, well, I think it was designed for people in California for all the snowflakes out there. Yeah, could be. Absolutely could be a possibility. <laughs> Love my Hero 7 black only thing. Uh, like on Osmo Action Cam is dual screens. Well, let's talk about that Osmo Action Cam a little bit, folks. I was on this morning for a little while. I was blessed to be invited on. No, I wasn't even invited. He put the link in the chat, and by God, I clicked on it. Claude with Drone Effects, right? Drone Effects with Claude? Right. Now nah, he invites yeah. me on there all the time. Anyway. I went on there and I started saying things about that camera and Claude was like, yeah, damn, Mel told me that a few days ago. So everything that I said turns out to be true. It has right. better stabilization. They call it rock steady, but still it's in, in camera stabilization. It has... Yeah interchangeable batteries like the little eek and the cheapy ones which a lot of the gopros don't you have to charge them up to use them i know some of them have got interchangeable batteries y'all don't be jumping down my throat now about that but most of the gopros don't have interchangeable batteries everybody was asking about well is it going to fit gopro and i kept saying yes it'll fit gopro It'll fit GoPro. And sure enough, not only does it fit GoPro, but it comes with a little case that you can put on the camera that matches the GoPro mounts. Now, why do you think DJI done that? Oh, awesome. Why do you think uh, they done that? They're taking on, uh, because they're wanting to take on GoPro. Nope. They're not trying to take on GoPro. No. If DJI wanted to, they could knock the knock GoPro's dick in the dirt. Um. Uh, that's they done that because they didn't want to make all their customers mad. Think if they'd have made this uh -huh. camera a different size and not made it adaptable to all the GoPro accessories. DJI ain't stupid. They know everybody in the world's got GoPro stuff. Right? Right. That's true. So why would they make a camera that would not fit what everybody else has already got? They want to sell cameras. They're going to make it fit GoPro stuff. And I said that in the beginning. Everybody kind of laughed at me. Nobody thought I knew what I was talking about. Well, today was D-Day, folks. Yeah. Everything I said, everything I predicted, everything I talked about, which wasn't a whole lot because everybody kept laughing at me, has turned out to I, be true I, about that little camera. I said it would have good stabilization. I said it would be waterproof. I said it would be better than GoPro. I said that it would fit the GoPro stuff. And most people didn't right. believe me. And Lloyd, why is that uh, most people didn't yeah, believe me? Why, why don't people believe me? I have no clue. Well, because I don't have 5,000 <laughs> subscribers or 10,000 subscribers. And I'm just a ding dong uh, and don't true, know what I'm talking true. about. Yeah. I'm a troublemaker well, that, does, that don't know yeah. what he's talking about. Yeah. Well, uh, the fact is. But that, that does bring up something about about that GoPro or about the uh, Osmo uh, action that I had a question about. Because, you know, it's a uh, they were talking about the stabilization is rock steady. And, That's what uh, they call it. They call uh, it rock steady stabilization. Right. And. I had a question because one of the things that comes up was sometimes the uh, people talk about stabilization, and I was watching Captain Captain Drone, 
which he always does good reviews. Uh, yep. And uh, I was watching him, and uh, he he was showing it, and he was talking about why you should get one over the other. And, uh, you know, he didn't have it in his hand yet, but he was, you know, he got a GoPro and put a big lens on to make it look like it, you know. He was, yeah. as he said, he was faking it. But yeah. he was talking about the 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 manual Stabilization. gimbal on the... Well, the manual oh. gimbal on the uh, uh, pocket on the Osmo compared pocket, to yeah. the electronic stabilization, you know, right. it says this is when, you know, if you're bouncing around a lot, that gimbal cannot keep up. It's not good for, like, bouncing on a bicycle or a motorcycle or whatever, you know. So he said that's where you want to go with it. So I had the question, I, and I wrote it up there. I said, hey, can, will this uh, Osmo action fit on the... Uh, Osmo, uh, hang on a second. The Osmo Mobile 2. Yes. And he says, yes. You'll have to do some, you're going to have to do a counterbalance because of the weight, because it's not as heavy as. Uh, no, all you need is the uh, adapter. Is a phone. The adapter. All the you adapter. need is the action camera adapter for the, for the Mobile 2, and it'll do just like the Zhiyun Mobile unit. Without the phone okay. and using an action camera, it's an adapter. Right. And if I went out okay. to my pickup okay. and got my my bag with all my toys in it, I'd show you the adapter. But right. it's the same thing. Okay. Now I've seen a couple things well, in that's chat. That's what I wondered. I thought. Yeah. I've seen a couple okay. things in chat that I want to address. One of them was uh, Tim at Midwest Drone said the price point was surprising. Tim, I wasn't at all surprised. I knew that it would be the same price or cheaper than the Hero 7, which is the current reigning, current reigning action camera. Action camera from from Dojo. I mean GoPro. I mean GoPro. <laughs> and it is. They brought it out at the same price point as the Osmo Pocket, $349. And it comes with the right, kit with right. the adapter that get that gives you the mount for GoPro stuff. So you can attach it to any GoPro thing you want. It's got the front screen so you can do selfie stuff and you can frame yourself. So you can see where you are in the frame. Hey, totally makes sense, right? You want to be able to frame yourself yeah. in frame instead of behind something that you don't want to be behind, right? Okay. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. It, right. it just yeah. makes sense. Um, Bob Casey, no, I do not have one. I do wish I did. I did my absolute, and I do mean by God, absolute damnedest to get my hands on one today, but I failed. I'm a failure, y'all. I'm a failure. Please forgive me. Um, no, I don't have one. I wish I did. Um, the I actually went to get a shot, get a picture of one last night, and uh, when I was out getting my router, and I'll have more about that in Friday's video. So, Greg, just you will way. never yeah. ever get me to admit what crimes I'm guilty of, brother, and I don't care how many glasses of wine I've had. By God, <laughs> there are some things that just stay unsaid. Okay, man, you know. Yeah, some things are better left unsaid. That too. Lloyd, you know, he sure is yeah. a damn troublemaker when he ain't on his own stream. You know that? Have you noticed that about Greg? Yeah, I know. He's I, starting to he, cut loose a little stream, bit. He's just, yeah, I know. He's, he's actually a lot more fun when he's not on his own show. <laughs> yeah, I think he ought to give up his own show and just keep being on everybody else's. He's a whole lot more fun. You're right. Uh <laughs> Yeah, well, he he serves he serves a uh, purpose down there in Australia. Well, okay, and, uh, that that's debatable, but yeah. Oh, he does. He has a lot of informative information, especially for the Australians. But I learn something off his show occasionally. You know. I'm glad you clarified well, that learned. with occasionally. Well, I mean, I've learned what kind of what's the best type of head wax to use and uh you know to, to make you look good in the camera uh well yeah yeah 
you gotta you gotta use the right head wax when you're bald. <laughs> Sorry, see, Greg. Now, I just me, can't help myself. See here, Greg. See, whoops, I'm blocking the camera again. See, look at all. Yeah, I don't have that problem, right? Yeah. Well, I I do, but that's only because I cut it short. Well, you I mean, choose I, I, to I do that, little, though. Yeah, but I've got this little monk thing started here. I, you know, but. Well, that kind of like looks like that little Ju round Jewish too. hat. What's it called? That little bitty round one they wear? Yeah, uh, yarmulke. Uh, yarmulke, that was it. Uh, you learn more things than occasionally. You forget everything from the last week. You learn it again <laughs> next week. <laughs> he's absolutely right on that. I will give him that one. Yeah, he's right. I, and there's, I, I there's Ken from Original Dobo. Yeah, so anyway, Ken, we're just talking about the new Is DJI Kobe camera. SOB? Which one? Uh, that guy over there? Or you no, you, about me you, because... you, right here. Whoops, I did it. I did it. No, I did it right the first time. Right there. <laughs> yeah, there That's the only yeah, grumpy right there. SOB yeah. there is. Uh huh. Yeah. Hello, Ken Dono. Hey, let's do a shout out to a couple of these guys. Being, uh, Why don't uh, you go ahead and do that? Uh, and I'm going to pour me another copy. Yeah, and then when you get back, I'm going to go get me a cup of tea while you drink your uh, coffee and carry on the show. Anyways, shout out to Rick Albert, Midwest Rones, Thunderbird 6. Uh, Peter Carroll, always nice to see you in here. Midwest Rones, I think I already said. Let's see, Oz by Drone, we cannot forget you, my friend. Uh, Steve Miller Photo. Uh, uh, let's see, Thunder. Thomas O'Sullivan, Thunderbird 6, I mentioned. Chris Hope. Thank you for putting up the stuff, Chris. You're always uh, good about that. That's right, Chris. Uh, I appreciate Room it. Life, above and beyond, uh, above and beyond drones. Uh, let's see. Uh, who else we got here? Of course, we got the uh, Steve Miller photo I mentioned. Uh, Art code, drone solutions. Uh, uh, Thomas O'Sullivan. Let's see. Midwest, yeah, yep. Yeah. And oh Bob Casey. I don't want to forget you, Bob Casey. I apologize for that. Uh uh Bob McCartney. And uh then of course there's the uh, the one, the only, the great Mark Rogers. And then there's the infamous sometimes you wonder what he's thinking. Original Dobo. Oh uh, no, you always you wonder what he's thinking too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I always wonder, but yeah. you know. Anyways, uh, there's somebody else there. I want to see Mark Rogers, uh, Bob McCartney, Brent Nunley. Did I see you in here? Yes, Brent Nunley's in here. Johnson I Bass. Okay. Hey, uh, hey, hey, Ken. Real quick, Lloyd, I'm going to interrupt you. Ken, you got a pencil and paper handy, Ken? I want you to write down this number. Are you ready? Let me know in chat that you're ready. I'm waiting. Because you're going to go to vmixcall.com. everybody. Yeah, I think you got everybody. And with that said and done, if you'll take me off the screen for a moment. Oh, Richard and Janet Henderson just joined. Well, hello, uh, Richard. All right, there's... Uh, Ken okay. has just said, hey, Mel, in the chat. So. All I'm right, to Step out Ken. and get some tea because my voice ten, is killing me. Ten four. Okay, Ken, write down this number. 5677343677. Okay. I believe I can copy and paste that into the chat. Control C and Control V. There you go. Uh, error, try again. What the hell you mean, error? By God, I'm the host of the show. You don't error on me. Well, it is erroring. It's giving me an error, but I bet you can read it. I don't know why it's doing that. That's really weird. Um, so, vmixcall.com and then enter in that password.
And I don't know what in the world is going on there. Even with regular chat, it's giving me an error. Let me see if I can set this up again and do a chat pop out. Because that's really weird. It shouldn't be doing that. Sign into chat. Well, hell, I've been signed in. There we go. Control V. There you go, Ken. There's your password. Let me do this and move this over there and minimize that again and get this all squared away now so it'll work. Richard and Janet, welcome to the show. I appreciate you. Well, thank you, Greg. You're all, you're all like, helpful tonight. That's kind of weird. Instead of causing, instead of trying to cause trouble, you're being helpful. That's pretty cool, actually. So, Ken. Okay, now let me play a little bit of movie magic here. Because I need to do this and then do this. And that's going to be all goopy till I get it scaled down and whatnot. Um, really big. Because I wasn't prepared for that. Uh, what do we got going on? Do I get an Area 51 box like, uh, like, uh, Lloyd? No, you don't get an Area 51 box. Am well, I even well, doing this hell? in the right? Uh, what am I doing wrong? Man, I am, I'm doing something seriously wrong here. That wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, I know it, right? Um, Okay, so that's over there. That means I got to go here. Oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. I put you there. And. Okay. I really needed to do something different. So I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to do. This makes it all fun on the fly, you know what I mean? When you're not really prepared to do something that you thought you never thought you were going to do. Right. Um, I need to make a new input so that I can get all three of us on here. Because that's what it takes to make it happen. So, I'll do this and then I'll go here. Is everybody enjoying the show? Really, kind of, sort of. So if I put that right there, and then I put that right there, and then I go there, and I go over here, and I scale it down. There we go. We'll make it fit over here, and whoops. And over there, then we'll move it down a touch, kind of like that. Then we'll come back over to this thing, and we'll bring Lloyd in. And I know Lloyd's in here somewhere. I just don't know where. Where the hell is Lloyd at? Right there. We'll bring Lloyd in there, and then we'll go like this, and we'll go to number three. And we'll scale Lloyd down. About like that. And then we'll bring him over there. Oh, we're going to have to scale him down a little bit more. That's way too big for his britches. Bring him over there. And move him up some. And then we'll temporarily have all three of us on the screen. Then all i got to do is go like this. And go like this. And there we are. See how simple that was? Don't you love B-Mix, oh, Ken? Yeah. It's, it's really easy to manipulate. Yeah, move things around. Did you uh, did you actually buy did you buy a copy of it? Vmix, yeah, I bought Vmix Pro. I went full yeah, bore. I, st I stopped I, I stopped using Vmix, and then we tried using OBS, and it just never worked out. Yeah, I uh, after you turned me on to Vmix, and I started playing with it over OBS, I was just so impressed at how easy everything was to do what you, do what you wanted to do. You know, I mean, yeah, VMix call is definitely easier. Oh yeah, to bring guests in. 
And even after five glasses of white Zinfandel, I was even able to bring one in on the fly here, see? Oh, how about that? Yeah, imagine that. Um, so anyway, today's release just kind of proved that everything I've been saying for the last eh, two weeks or so about this camera has proven to be true. So what are your thoughts on this new camera? Officially, uh, I mean, right here. Have you played with it yet? I mean... Uh, I have not played with it yet. Okay, what about I'll, the camera? Have I'll, you played with that? <laughs> I warned you, five glasses of wine, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, ha I haven't played with that at all. Uh, eventually, I'll have one in my hands here in probably about a couple of days. Um, I think it's going to take a couple of that, more than a couple of days. I heard today, um, DJ, it's taken two weeks to get shipped. And I know that the retail stores on the street aren't going to have them until the 31st. No, I'm not. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I would go through a retail store. I typically just go get them, get them for my distributor. So, um, yeah, but he doesn't should have, have one. Yet. He doesn't have, uh, yet, we does got he? demo units. No, we've, oh, we've got demo okay. units. Okay. Um, so I'll probably use one of the demo units. I don't know if it's going to have pre-release software on there or not. Um, uh, but I have a hero seven, so I'm going to try to see how it works with that. See okay. how they compare to one another. Okay. Well, I can already tell you, the Hero Seven is going to be sitting in the back seat. You know, I I don't use my Hero Seven at all. I just, I honestly just started using it just because I would get lazy. I don't want to set up my camera. Yeah, yeah. And the stable, the stable stabilization is so good. It is really good. So it just makes makes sense. But you know what I do, and I don't want to set up my camera. What's that? I grab the Osmo Pocket. Are you drinking coffee or bourbon? Well, it now I'm drinking bourbon. Sick. Earlier, I was drinking white Zinfandel. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm drinking tea. Just so we're all on the same page. Yeah, tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I think that way. you're going to find when say. you put the Osmo Action next to the 7 side by side in a, in a true real life comparison. I think you're going to find that the stabilization is just a touch better in the Osmo set, uh, action camera. Uh, from all the videos I saw today, they, the stabilization was pretty pretty awesome. And the colors were pretty good. The highlights were a little little blown out in some of the videos. But that's all software and can be fixed. Exactly. Exactly. And can be pushed either way, you know, up or down. So I don't think comparing that is you know i don't think that holds much water you know what i mean no not at all um and i, I think one of the underrated features of, a, of that camera is the fact that you can put nd filters on it so easily yep yep i mean you can do it with you can do it with the hero 7 